So I'm doing this in addition to the Khan Academy videos. I would recommend to get your linear algebra foundations down. Go to the Khan Academy videos I referenced in the lab. But uh, I need to show you tab by tab how this um, little calculator works that you're going to implement. So let's just start with the first one, which is vector basics. And I would easily watch this after you've watched the few Khan Academy videos I've referenced in the labs. So if you can see uh, the UI as best as I could, I made it so I have a scalar times a vector. See the vectors uh, denoted here by the angle bracket. So a scalar times a vector. Add or subtract, you can choose either one. Another scalar times a vector. So this tab shows us uh, scalar multiplication and also the vectors in this Cartesian kind of grid. Um, and then addition and subtraction, another vector. So let me just drag this one out. You see I'm adjusting the x value of the first vector. So that's this vector down here. And as I adjust it, that x, see here I, I'm at 7.25. So the vector drawn in standard position, meaning the tail of the vector is at the origin. So this vector is 7.25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0.25, just a little bit out. And then the y is still at 1, so we go up 1, and there's the tip of that vector. The second vector, the second blue vector, is this vector out here times the scalar. So let's scale this vector. Right now this vector is just 1, 1, so from here we go over 1 and up 1. And this vector, I need you to know, it's not in standard position, meaning the tail of it is not here at the origin. But I, I, it's we think of vector addition as taking one vector and then adding the second vector is putting the tail of the second vector on the tip of the first vector. And so that's why the UI draws these vectors kind of tip to tail. And if we had 5, 10, 20 vectors, we could go tip to tail, tip to tail, or other way around. Sorry, tell the tip, tell the tip, tell the tip, tell the tip, tell the tip. We could add them as long as we want to. In this case, we only have two. But I'm going to take the second vector. Let's drag its y up. And you see, as its y goes up, its x doesn't change. The x is fixed, but the y is increasing. So it's 1, 5.9. So 1, which is which is 0.25 right here, 0.25 in this box, because we're adding 7.25. So 1, and then 5.9 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.9, right there. Almost to that line, but not quite. So so anyway, you can see, as I adjust these scalars, the implementation behind the UI uh, does the proper math, and so on and so forth. Now, I can adjust the constants I'm multiplying by. So, So if you see this... Let me bring this vector down to something a little more reasonable again. Let's say, let's say it's one, 1. 1.5. All right, so over 1.5, up one, and well, 1.5 times 0.95. So as I scale this, you see this vector is just getting longer. Or I can go shorter. I can even go negative if I want to. But all that scalar does is basically multiply times these two components of the vector. All right, so vector addition. Hopefully that's that's. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to swap it to subtraction. So I'm going to take this scalar times this vector, subtract this scalar times this vector. Let me let me get this out where it's a little more interesting. So watch what happens. First of all, if we go off of uh, what we discussed in class, if um, I'm going to take this first vector, which is this guy right here, and I'm going to subtract that vector, well, it's the same as as adding the negative of the second vector. So the negative of this second vector, in fact, I wonder, uh, I might mess it up if I try to do it and try to drag it. So the negative of the second vector, I'm just going to roughly estimate, is going to point this way, roughly that far. Okay, so I'm taking the first vector, which is this one. I'm going to add the negative of this vector here, and the negative of this vector here is actually this vector. Well, hopefully you can see the result. Let me grab a different color here. Uh, I'll go, I'll go red. Hopefully the result here, you can see, is going to be roughly, roughly. Well, I didn't do a very good job there. Roughly, I need to connect it right. Let's connect it right. It's going to be roughly. Here we go to the tip of this vector. So it's almost like we take this vector and add this vector. Kind of the same thing. This vector is the negative of that vector. Well, as and watch what I, what happens in the program, though. I'm going to click Subtract. When I click Subtract, what happens is I, I move both of the blue vectors in standard position. Okay. So, 
So the result's the same. Vectors don't have position. But if you notice this vector, when I hit subtract, I took this vector and moved it back to standard position. So subtract. Here it is in standard position. So I'm taking this vector and I'm subtracting that vector, which gives me this result vector. Right? Which which is actually if I move this vector to standard position, meaning the taking the the tail end of this vector and put it right here. It's the same as what I roughly drew here either way. Either way you can th think of this the way I have it here, the, how the program actually works, or if you think of adding the negative, that's probably more intuitive. It's the same result. So anyway, that's the first tab there. Scalar times a vector, add or subtract a scalar times a vector.